All right, Daniel, so you dragged me in here to talk about Visual Studio and .NET Framework 3.5. What, what do you see as being in your top three features of the things that are in VS and Framework 3.5? Top three, that's a tough one. Well, I guess at number three would be Office development. Mm -hmm. So Office as a development platform is really coming along. You can now build what we call OBAs, Office Business Applications. And from a technical perspective, Visual Studio Tools for Office version three is now in Visual Studio 2008 Professional Edition. Mm -hmm. So in that queue, anyone can go and build Office customizations, including creating uh, add-ins at the uh, document level, including Outlook form regions in managed code, custom task panes, ribbon customizations, actions pane, word content data binding, a whole bunch of different things, and click once deployment comes to uh, Office applications. That would be my uh, number three. Uh, what do you think is uh, higher than that? Well, you know I like click once deployment. I've liked that for a long time, and it's great to see that coming to Office, but what about all the bits from Framework 3 that get revved and enhanced in Framework 3.5? So all the things that end in the letter F, you know, we got WCF, and in WCF 3.5, you get support for doing more kind of restful web services, things where you're just sending XML backwards and forwards by indexing on a, a URI, just hitting on a URI, get an XML, or if you're building AJAX applications, you get JSON, and then the support for RSS and Atom syndication in there. If you're building WCF services, then Workflow 3.5, gives you a really nice integration with WCF. You can simply go graphically design a workflow, sit there and deploy it almost straight out, almost no code as a WCF service and pick up all the benefits of WCF, you know, the transport neutrality, picking, picking and adding in security and that kind of stuff after you design the workflow. And then of course there's Presentation Foundation. You know, so extremely rich UI, all the benefits you get at WPF. There's the designer in Visual Studio 2008, really cool. And then there's some framework bits as well. Um, there's some really nice stuff around integrating 2D content and sticking it onto 3D surfaces, that's really nice. And then there's some more interoperability between Windows Forms and WPF, just make it a nicer place to play. And I think there's a bunch of performance enhancements in there as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Framework 3.0 moving into Framework 3.5, I like that stuff. I think that's really, really smart. Yeah. Anything you see that's better than that? Well, that's. Uh, I agree with everything uh, you've just said. Then. Of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> why wouldn't I? <laughs> well, all that. And in fact, that was my prediction at the session <laughs> I just did. Yeah, you know, we'll see a rebirth of .NET Framework 3 with the release of Visual Studio 2008. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the top feature for me, though, is uh, is a very simple yet powerful feature, which is multi-targeting. So now with Visual Studio 2008, you can target .NET Framework 3.5 and all the bits that are in there. But you can also uh, select to target just.NET Framework 3, all the stuff you've been talking about. And you can even target just.NET Framework version 2. So you can upgrade your solutions, your projects, without changing your framework or your deployment environments. And then you can take advantage of all the new language features, because all the compiler features work with existing Framework 2. You can take advantage of all the IDE usability features. So multi-targeting, I think, makes moving to Visual Studio a no-brainer upgrade. So, would you say there is a, a feature which is more top than that? So I agree, I think multi-targeting is really cool. I think the only thing that I would put on top of that is what you alluded to, language extensions, which lead us off into language integrated of query course, and of links. Course, you of know, uh, almost like a SQL-like syntax brought into VB9 and C Sharp 3. I learn one syntax, one pattern. It encompasses um, filtering, ordering, grouping, and I can sit there and learn that pattern against a bunch of objects I've got in memory bunch of XML that I've got on my disk or comes from memory, SQL Server, and potentially anything else in the future because it's extensible. Right. So I think for me, the one thing that would really nail it is Link. And, and I agree with you. It's almost as if we planned this, but for once, I will agree with you. I yeah. think Link is it. Whilst I don't like agreeing with you, I will do. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.